Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have 16 times of a square and its whole square root is equals to 4 and we solve this problem for the values of a. So first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we determine that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root. Uh, so uh, for this we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please not hesitate to write this method into the comment section now we move towards our first method and in the first method uh, here we uh, use the radical law and you know about the radical law if we have a multiplied by b and its whole square root we write it as square root of a is multiplied by square root of b so here we need to separate the square root on both of these values and it will be written as square root of 16 multiplied by square root of a square is equals to 4 and now you very well know about that the square root of 16 is equals to 4 and this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here a is equals to 4 and now here our target is to find the values of a so for this we need to divide both of the sides by 4 so when we divide both of the sides by 4 it will be written as 4a is divided by 4 equals to 4 divided by 4 and now you see here this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we get here the uh, in the left hand side is a is equals to 1 so this is the value or this is the first root of the given equation uh, which we get here into the first method and now here in the next step we need to verify that uh, is this root of the given equation is satisfied over given question statement or not or in other words we check that is this root a solution or is this root be the extraneous root so for verification of the root uh, we need to just copy down given question statement here the given question statement is that 16 times of a square and its whole square root is equals to 4 and here uh, because we have only one root that is a is equals to 1 we verify this root for the verification of the root we need to put a is equals to 1 into the left hand side of this equation and it will be written as 16 times of the 1 square and its whole square root is equals to 4 and now you see here we have this is square root of 16 times of 1 square becomes 1 is equals to 4 and uh, here we have this is square root of 16 times of 1 becomes 16 is equals to 4 and we know about that square root of 16 is 4 is equals to 4 so this shows that left hand side is equals to right hand side this means that the value of a is equals to 1 is satisfied over given question statement so we finally conclude that a is equals to 1 be the solution of the given question here also i can explain the term extraneous root so the roots which cannot satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous roots so here we have only one root of the given only one solution of the given equation and this is a is equals to 1 and now here in the next steps we again solve this problem for the second method and in second method we first need to copy down given question statement here it is uh, square root of 16 times of a square is equals to 4 so this is the our given question statement and now in the next step uh, we uh, again solve this problem for second method and i hope so you also like this method so in this method we need to remove the square root sign from the left hand side uh, so for this uh, we will just uh, take the squaring on both of the sides so square root of 16 times of a square and its whole square is equals to 4 square and now uh, you see here uh, this this two and this square root are gone 
so we will get here the remaining values are 16 times of a square is equals to this 4 square is also becomes here 16 and now because we uh, solve this problem for the values of a so for this we first need to divide both of the sides by 16 so when we divide both of the sides by 16 it will be written as 16 times of a square divided by 16 is equal to 16 divided by 16 and we need to cancel these terms and after cancellation of the terms we will get here a square is equals to this 16 is cancelled out by this 16 and we get here a square is equals to 1 so uh, here for the values of a we again need to eliminate this square sign so in order to eliminate this square sign we need to take the square root on both of the sides so when we will take the square root it will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here a is equals to plus minus the square root of 1 is equals to 1 you very well know about that when we take the square root on both of the sides uh, so we will write here plus minus sign of any one of the sides so we write here this sign into the right hand side and now here in the next step we need to again verify uh, these two roots uh, so for the verification of the root we just substitute both of the values uh, into the given question statement and the given question statement is square root of 16 a square is equals to 4 and now we put both of these values of a here and it will be written as 16 times of plus minus 1 whole square is equals to 4 we know that uh, the square of positive term is equals to plus 1 also the square of negative term is also equals to plus 1 so the square of plus minus 1 is equals to 1 and we get here square root of 16 is equals to 4 and we know about that square root of 16 is equals to 4 equals to 4 this shows that the both values of a is equals to plus minus 1 satisfied our given question statement so this is the our final solution of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos